Hello, everybody, and welcome to Baka Talk, the podcast where we talk about anime, manga, and degeneracy, since this is the 69th episode of our series. So, I am Sir Boom. I'm joined by my two co-hosts now. We got a new one. Because we have Whoa. Return of the King. No, not Return. His name is Bees. He's a new co-host <laughs> that we hired uh, over because Weez wasn't coming back anytime soon. You know what? I'm just going to mute. No, 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 hold on. And Weez is back, so say hi, Weez. Hey, Weez. I'm back. Oh, no. ah. I hope. <coughs> you know what the I'm... best part is? Yeah. So I said ba, I'm going to mute ba, Pyro. Ba, 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 ba. And I never did, and oh. he just thinks he's muted. <laughs> that's the best part of this podcast i am back all right yeah what do you do i watched you flip a dial i just touched the volume control that's all i did what's the volume control do nothing when you just touch it oh no i watched you turn it yeah i did this i just like nudged it a little bit man and then you turned it back get trolled not get gonna, wrecked noob not gonna lie though when you're like starting down the countdown to starting the podcast yeah i was looking for that screen on this screen forgetting you had a second screen <laughs> i was like what do you mean he's starting it's still on the internet man you're so special anyways how you doing Weez? i'm okay i've been sick for so long yes for years for years you're I got, still sick i got sick for a month yeah. How did the court battle over your affair go? Okay, so yeah, the, there was some personal drama that happened, and then I got sick. So I would have been back earlier, but I got sick. The, the the That whole affair thing was just a big misunderstanding between my girlfriend... And your boyfriend? No, it was a big understanding between my girlfriend and my girlfriend's sister's boyfriend. How did that misunderstanding Big happen? misunderstanding between me and him. Is it like when Chris... Well, it turns out that the uh, him and the boyfriend weren't supposed to shower together. Oh, I, so I'm right. No, was it was just say. really cold in her grandparents' house. So we just bunked together. And it was, it was a big it was a big thing. But it's all straightened out now. Over, right. over After a $3 million settlement. Yes, I have full custody rights now. Let's go. <laughs> of the boyfriend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> boyfriend. Does he, does he, is his cage at least warm? His cage? Yeah. So they have custody rights, don't you keep him like a cage? Or? No. Oh, okay. Free roam? Free yeah, range? Like, kinda. kinda. It's like a big fence. Okay. Yeah. He has a, uh, he has an ankle bracelet. Alright. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, it was like when Chris and... Masumune got caught in the shower <laughs> exactly. or in the bathtub by yeah, the yeah. one guy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, nice yeah. arrow manga reference to start out episode sixty nine. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, our local degenerate host, Pyrolis. Yeah, that's me. Yes, always been you. Always Yay. will be. Like I said last week, you're like a cancer in my brain that I can't get rid of. But, but, but I'm not a cancer. I'm like a, the Zerg. I, I you just know, you actually do sound muted for yeah, whatever Yeah, I thought know. so. Let's there go. you go. You sound better now. Yay. Do Ooh. I look better? No. Oh. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> what go. do you mean? Why would you ask me that? I'm just making sure. I, I tried a little bloodletting over the weekend, like in medieval times, to try and get my own skin a bit more flush and make myself look a little more attractive interesting okay yeah. we're just gonna skip over the fact that you probably just killed somebody so no no i let blood out of myself oh that one i thought you were yeah. talking about the one that the people do nowadays no i said the one they do in medieval times ah uh, okay. i mean i did burn some people on the side that i thought might have been witches but trial stands against them they didn't survive the fire, so obviously God didn't want them alive. <laughs> and aren't you supposed to throw them in a lake, right? There's two options. Either you burn them and they survive their witch, or you throw them in a lake and if they survive their witch. <laughs> 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 if not, God obviously has if, some sort of issue. If our, not, forefathers were, our forefathers were such smart people. Yeah, if they do die, then they were obviously a witch. I oh, say, exactly. I say put a bull in them and let God sort them out. Yeah. Wait, what? No, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I don't agree he with that. He already agreed with it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get uh, going with Black this podcast for episode. I'm just going to ignore Pyrillus. Uh, yeah, today is our 69th episode. Woot, woot. The cringest episode. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get started with, we're just going to do the boring stuff real quick. And then we'll get into some fun, degenerate stuff. Uh, 
Weez, you haven't done this in a while. You want yeah. to st- run us through some articles? Some news. Well, first we have Sony buys Bungie for $3.6 billion. Billion. This happens like right after um, Microsoft buys Activision Blizzard for like two 10 weeks. times that amount. It took them two weeks to find a company that's like, this is ours now. I feel like so, they were doing that just like one up them. Yeah. No, for sure. I think they say somewhere in a press briefing that in the aftermath of a large studio pickup, they realized that they had to do something themselves, and that's why they got Bungie. I'm right. sure they started like acquiring them way before that, though, because buying a company takes forever. Unless you're Sony. Hold on. <laughs> that's true. I just noticed we can get plane tickets. Well, that was it. Now it's gone. We could get plane tickets for $69. This is the 69th episode. <laughs> We should have taken those tickets and flown to Japan. Oh my goodness. Continue the rest of the episode there. I don't think we could get $69 Japan plane tickets. It said $69 plane tickets. It didn't say to where. I'm going to say that's just free Just roaming. everywhere. Yeah, it's probably $69 to Chicago. It's like those bus tickets that just like let you go anywhere that yeah. the bus goes. Oh, yeah. It's just like that for plane tickets. Like the golden ticket. You see a bus. That's Willy in Wonka, there. bud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I am Willy Wonka. <laughs> I hey. have golden ticket. I own factory. I have elevator that flies. <laughs> you just get in the elevator and it just yeets you to Japan. Yeah. So, uh, Sony buys Bungie for $3.6 billion. Um, it was bought by a, from the company SIE. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bungie will be run as an independent sub- subsidiary of SIE and will remain a multi-platform studio with the option to self-publish and reach players where they choose to play. Was that a Halo reference? Reach? No. <laughs> that is referring to uh, they're going to let them just keep publishing to probably Xbox and Switch. So if you don't and, know who... Uh, PC. If you right. don't know who Bungie is, they created the very popular and beloved Halo series and the much less beloved and less popular destiny series and then the game i forgot oni and PS2. then they made oni like a long time ago if you nobody I mean, cares it's an about anime that. game so look at it i mean it's anime it i mean let's like be honest the yeah. girl looks cute that's all we care about i mean it's got rip off like wolverine logan hair that's purple on a girl, i've always so. wanted to see uh hugh jackman as a female and i'm pretty sure ryan reynolds would like to agree <laughs> probably I mean, if you look at the comics, it's, uh, I think it's Project 13, mm-hmm. is that her name? Or 23, Project 23 mm-hmm. is, uh, she's the clone of Wolverine. Nice. Yeah. So, she's the daughter of Wolverine, I think? Yeah. Yep. Daughter. The daughter, but not the daughter. Kind of the daughter, because she's a clone. But I'm probably going to get fact checked on that i was about to say i I don't think that if you're clone that makes you a father or daughter i don't know i don't know they have a weird relationship in the comics so any more thoughts on bungie buying i mean sony buying bungie can we just stop and just like just stop can people just stop buying each other honestly i'm kind of surprised They bought them for so much money, considering they've made like one game in and the they past. They got rid of Halo so ten years, ten years, basically. Yeah, the last Halo game they made was I think Halo Reach. No, ODST. I mean, three? Destiny must three be was after really Reach, right? popular. No, it was three then Reach. Yeah, because it's OD, it's Halo three and then Halo three ODST then Halo Reach. So Reach would be so the yeah, last. So yeah, Reach one. is the last game they built. They made. It's like, what the heck, people? Just stop it's buying. It's kind of bizarre to buy like a studio like this. Like, what are you actually buying? It's kind of weird. Like, I guess you're buying the like Destiny and a bunch of developers, but couldn't you just hire a bunch of developers? Like, is there anything tangible that they own now? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Destiny? They... Couldn't all the developers just leave and then like make a new game? <laughs> they, pro- they can, yeah. <laughs> yes, like... And that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh... Like, it just seems really weird. I guess they just own Destiny now, which that's seems, how we get. Seems game. like a lot of money to buy Destiny. Not really. You're buying. You're not buying Destiny. You're buying Bungie. Yeah, which which Bungie, I'm guessing once they have the money from Sony, will hopefully make a new game other than Destiny, Destiny. Two. <laughs> yeah. I 
hope. I don't know. Maybe they can make some cool shooter. But right, we're gonna have the Call of Halo. <laughs> the Call of Halo. Modern. <laughs> modern combat. Modern Reach. Let's go. <laughs> no, they have to call it the Call of the Call of Infinite Halo. Yeah. Yes. Because there has to be infinite yeah. in the name now, apparently. Call yeah. of Infinite Halo Reach. I still can't believe that you see Halo Infinite comes out, and then two two weeks later, I get a notification from Steam that an old game franchise called Torchlight comes out with a new Torchlight game called Torchlight Infinite. Wow! Nice. Just I they don't, they ran I, out of names. They're like, our graphics are so good and our computing power is so great, we can do anything. Let's just call the game Infinite then. Doesn't that beg the question that if you have so many games, so many, well, this goes for anything, so many games, so many phones, so many computers, that you don't want to name it the next number, like, shouldn't you maybe stop and think to do something else? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to copyright the word infinite. That way everything's <laughs> saying infinite has to pay me. No, my <laughs> infinite stonks now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like partially companies like Bungie are like, they made Halo games back in the day, and those games worked really well for their time. Nowadays, it's like... And they still work very well. I will you, say Halo 3... You have to reach. do something different, and but still good. Like, they seem to just be like, eh, we'll put out another generic yeah. shooter. I will say Halo 3, Reach, and ODST were the probably the best Halo games yeah. of all time. Like, I think most everybody will agree that those three games are what made Halo what it is nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Like, Well, I don't know. Recently, I took a sharp turn... And I don't, I don't like the turn they took. I want to get a Sheila without having to have 8,000 Valor points. What? You have to get Valor points. That way you can like get certain drops in uh, Infinite. That's stupid. So I can't I don't think that down. has anything to do with the old Halo games. It though. doesn't. No. I want I just want to call down a tank from the heavens in order to do that. I've got to get 2,000 Valor points. Dang. You're still playing Halo Infinite? On and off. I'm mainly doing it out of spite so I can beat the campaign and say I did it. Because uh, you can't return it because uh, if you bought the game uh, under Steam, it is registered as a DLC. No And way. you can't return DLCs. Oh, dang. That is so stu- Yeah, because the multiplayer is free to play. Mm-hmm. And then you buy the add-on, which yeah. is, oh, dang, that is so stupid. So I paid $60 for it, and I can't return it because it's a DLC. I don't really like the free-to-play, like multiplayer thing that just feels pretty cheap it I feels like, like it you either. don't respect your game enough to make it so you have to pay to like play it yeah well, they're doing it so that way people they have an excuse for making people pay for other yeah things. for microtransactions Which, and stuff another stupid thing is if you buy hill infinite uh you still have to pay for those microtransactions yeah just by owning the game so you're really only buying a campaign which like i mean how long is the campaign i don't know I haven't finished it yet. I guess it depends on how I long you want to take it. I can't imagine a first-person shooter campaign being the well, worst. thing is, open it's world. open world. Oh, okay. And they did That's it in like, the laziest cool, open world way possible. Mm. Hmm. Well, anyways, let's keep on moving on so that way we don't spend our whole time on it. We've talked plenty of times about companies buying other companies, so yeah. people already know our thoughts on it. It's going to really end up care. like the four airplane stuff in America. Next, yeah. we have Cowboy Bebop is the... Not the actual Cowboy Bebop, but the Netflix adaptation Cowboy Bebop is getting a comic. I think I need to clarify, and I appreciate that you clarified. Yes, because this isn't Cowboy Bebop. This is Netflix adaptation of Cowboy Bebop, which is a different story than and universe than Cowboy Bebop. So, and it's getting a continuation through a comic. The Cowboy Bebop series got an adaptation from Netflix, which is getting an adaptation of a comic. Yes. Next, you're going to tell me the comic is going to get an adaptation that is a movie. movie. <laughs> yes. And then that will get an adaptation that's an anime. Anime. And then we'll get an adaptation that's a manga. And it's a full circle of life. Exactly. I'm just waiting for them to come out with the movie and the movie somehow has worse graphics than the comic. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they're going to be expanding the universe of the Netflix Cowboy Bebop series with a... 
I think it is an actual comic and not a graphic novel. Let me double check. That's kind of cool considering that they canceled it right away. So if you care about the story, you there's at least something you can experience it with. Honestly, for their sake, I hope they don't make physical copies and they just only go digital. Because I don't think the physical so- copies are going to sell that Probably much anyway. Not. Unless they make them like to order. I feel like the people that liked this show were mostly just like, yeah, it was pretty good. Most of the people that were complaining about it just had gripes because of the anime or whatever. It was bad adaptation, but it was a fun show. Like, I didn't see anyone that was just like so on board with it Mm -hmm. that they would like buy a comic to read the rest of the story. Yeah, I I didn't get that vibe. So if you're interested in maybe reading it, the story premise is... Um, based on the net, the new Netflix live action adaptation of the original anime, and an original story story set in the year 2071, the, bo- the bounty hunter crew of the Cowboy Bebop chase an ex-gang member who holds a vest which gives the wearer unlimited luck. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, my mouth is a gate for something else. I just realized that in 50 years, we're going to be the three old guys playing cards. Dude, <laughs> we let's are. go. That's why I, I honestly I tuned out whatever you said. I heard luck, but that's about it. Because my mind was like, wait, 2071. This is 2022. 50 years. Oh goodness. Okay, that's pretty cool. But what really blows my mind is that this plot involves a magical vest. Supposedly, um, that this gives is like a luck. a show from Cartoon Network kind of plot. Yes. I literally have seen this in uh, what is it called? Bear Three Bears whatever we bear bears whatever that show is called yeah there's this episode where this guy finds this one of the bears finds a uh jacket it's like a denim jacket like a Mm. biker jacket and he puts it on and sudden suddenly becomes like infinitely popular they ended up like fighting over it and they're like we have to get rid of this thing it's tearing us apart and then they like burn it or something but like he puts it on immediately and then like some people walk by and they all like give him a high five and he's like whoa i haven't gotten a high five in forever and i just got three in a row it, it, this is basically that plot. this is the exact same plot my <laughs> question is what kind of luck are they getting <coughs> unlimited luck so i'm guessing gambling luck knowing uh-huh. cowboy bebop oh that makes sense i was hoping degenerate luck it could be that as well. <laughs> i mean it might be depending on who like has it i mean faye better not touch it well you know faye's gonna steal it man well, yeah, that's a really stupid Especially sounding Especially Netflix Faye, because Netflix <coughs> Faye is kind of just... Especially for Cowboy Bebop. Why is there a magical vest in Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. What the heck? That's what I don't get, and I'm not too happy about that. What if Whatever. the entire Netflix show is just what partakes in their mind during the Space Lobster movie? That would make sense. That would be funny. Like, when would they're be just amazing. floating around, like... Whoa, did we just become real life? So yeah, I think that's all the news we have. Yeah, it is. Woo. Anyway, <laughs> that was the worst intro I've ever done. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, he's like, the no, intro? that's all the news we have. It's just, or no, um, segue. That's what I meant to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Segue. So he's like, oh, that's all the news we have. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that's ne- So that's so- Sixty-nine episode, everybody. Episode sixty-nine. You know what that means? You know what that means? What's what? on episode sixty-nine? Nice. Yeah, nice. Wanna... I I prepared for this episode. You did. I watched the first episode of High School DxD specifically yes. to talk on this episode because I knew you were planning it because I listened to all the other episodes while I was gone, which was significantly more entertaining listening to it when I don't know what's already gonna happen. <laughs> so it was actually kind of fun. And then, but there were certain points where I'm like, dang, I want to talk about this. Or so, just like, that takes so bad, I need to argue about it. But I wasn't there. So, so it made me want to come back. You have to give us your honest opinion. How bad is our podcast? It's it's fun. I, I mean, certain points, it's like, okay, whatever, I don't care. But for the most part, it's pretty fun. All right. Real quick, what was the biggest thing that you had, to, that you wanted to talk about, that we talked about, that you thought we did either poorly or you just wanted to get your mouth in there. It might have been the the most recent one I remember is when he talked about Demon Slayer. And it being boring. and it being like I knew. it I being knew it. like too quickly paced. Yes. I'm like, what the heck? The first season was boring. It was so slow. <laughs> yes. The second season this is so one much is faster. Too fast. I like it. it. I like its its speed. 
I mean, it's nice because I'm at least not bored watching it. It is only an 11 episode season. I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Wow, it's not like 24. Done. So it's basically almost. What finished. are we on episode nine now? Yeah. Dang. I mean. But yeah. I've kind of just. I, I started like it's wa- faster pace. Yeah. A lot. I, I've started watching Demon Slayer just because of the pretty, pretty colors. It is a really pretty, uh, pretty show. It's just like, uh, you don't even recognize how good it is because it's just like watching the story and then it's like. This camera angle's absurd, and it's like the most casual thing in the show of just being like, we're gonna whip the camera around this 2D character, and it's gonna look amazing. It's like, well, obviously wow. they have so much budget for yeah. the movie. It's insane. It is insane. You stating the reason why you watch Demon Slayer just now is the same reason why some of us here, not naming any names, take psychedelics. Because <laughs> of pretty colors. Yes. <laughs> Why take psychedelics when you can just watch Demon Slayer? Because acid's easier to obtain and not as boring. It's also more expensive. Nah, it, it's worth it unless you get a Bad Batch. Bad Batch? That's a Disney Plus show. Oh no, we're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> we're Star oh, Wars no. talk segue. <laughs> but yeah, so how did you want to argue the Demon Slayer? Like, I uh, think it is too fast. I was just gonna say, I don't think it's too fast. I think it's good paced. Really? Yeah. I think it's it feels Literally a little in the, slow. In and... the same episode, in the same episode, um, Inosuke is running around a mansion. Yeah. The next episode, one of the main characters is about dead. Yeah, it was great. I mean, it's kind of slow at points because Tandro just sits there and is like, "I need you. I need to freaking uh, uh, breathe so I can fight Honestly, again." Honestly, that is the point that I'm having the tr- the most trouble with. Is yeah, the main character is so freaking stupid. He's not really stupid. He just gets... Okay, he was pretty derpy. I don't mean that derpy. he's mentally stupid. I mean just the way they have him is stupid. He was pretty derpy in the in the beginning of the season with like some of the stuff. Some of the jokes that they had around him was like... Country him? bumpkin Yeah, jokes. it's like he's... He is kind of a country bumpkin. Like the the train thing was yeah, funny in the first season, funny. where it's just like, don't fight the train. It might don't fight this. It might be like a guardian spirit. And Zenitsu's like, oh my goodness. But like, he's not that much of like a derpy country bumpkin character that they had him in. Honestly, the biggest some complaint the I have with the show right now is every single time he goes to fight, yeah, he gets wounded, <laughs> and then he's complaining about being hurt the whole show. He does that. I mean, he's always done that, but it is kind of annoying that it's like, okay, just, like, it does focus too much on it, because... It does, that's what I'm he saying. He gets that's the crap beaten like out of him, and then he's just like, I have to figure out... I, I did like him, like, combining the breathing techniques and stuff. That's kind of cool. Oh, come on. We all knew that was coming. Oh, I mean, no. it was cool, because he was like... I have this like insane, this one is like super powerful, but it just drains me of all my stamina. The other one's like super flowy, but it's not powerful enough for me to do anything because I suck. And you honestly couldn't see that coming? I mean, I didn't really He's the main character that's that learned, he's like looking at all these, um, Hashira. I mean, I was kind of- And he's of... like, oh, I like his moves and I like his moves. Of course he's going to use all the moves. He's the main character. I didn't really expect him to. I was mostly expecting him just to take the, the new one that he learned and be like, this is my thing now because my dad did it and now I'm going to be super good they at it. They tried tricking you into thinking that's what he was going to yeah, do. Yeah, that's kind of what but I But I could obviously see that it was not working yeah. out for Yeah, I mean, beginning. even if it was like predictable, it's still, it was cool. Yeah. I mean, the most only thing of Demon find... Slayer is predictable. Yeah. It's just cool. The only thing I'm finding interesting in the show is when he went in berserk mode, where his eyes like like oh, glazed when he, over or whatever. Yeah, that was freaking. He got like sweet. freaking blood in his eyes. I Tanjiro is probably the worst part of Demon Slayer, and I feel like that's a compliment. You know what the best part of Demon Slayer is? What? And we only got to see her in like two episodes. Is Nezuko? <laughs> Nezuko went insane. Oh my goodness. Demon form Nezuko is amazing. <laughs> She's terrifying. I I just keep waiting for her to come out because it's like. This is the worst situation possible. Yeah. Like the latest episode. Yes. Just, I'm waiting for it to It's just on. like everybody's dying and, and Tandro is getting the crap beat out of him. It's like, this is, we're all going to die. I'm just waiting for Nezuko to come out and be like, I am immortal. And I'm just going to save everyone. I like how she is like the smallest, cutest character. But then when she turns into a demon, she's like oh, this big buff demon that just dismembers she's people. She's terrifying. When she's just like stepping on yes. the one and just demon. just laughing. Yeah, and it's, it's like, great. oh my goodness. Yeah. I do kind of like what they're doing with Nezuko where she's kind of like that in-between of going insane and yes. like staying calm because 
she's gonna start eating people. Yes. But she's also like super strong and can fight demons, so she she's pretty interesting. Uh, I was kind of hoping like the the Hashira that they're following now, yeah, was just like gonna throw like an arm or something at her, <laughs> <laughs> just like eat this. Just, yeah, <laughs> just do the whole Tokyo Ghoul thing. Yeah. just like no, she won't eat humans. Like this person's already dead. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was ex- the way he acts, I was expecting him to do that. Just like, we need he's her to like, fight. Yeah. Eat the heart. He's a very fleshy way. But uh, yeah, he's great. I really like uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke. I feel yeah. like they got a lot better um, throughout the story. Like, Inosuke was kind of really annoying at first. And then during the, the movie, he got way better. Yes. And now he's like about the same when he takes when he cuts the girl's head off which is awesome because he like saws it off yep. and then he just grabs the head because you won't die and just runs and it's just like i'm getting out of here <laughs> that was pretty hilarious so i've liked demon slayer that's good i like the second season way more than the first season yeah but it's pyrolis looks lost and yeah. bored well i i had a joke but then when i was gonna say it, i got overruled so i, I didn't know what to think after that Uh-oh. you got overruled yeah oh. because i was like i was gonna be like you guys talking about his bones bro i was like oh no my poor shattered bones but when i said oh no you guys like <laughs> ignored you yeah oh. nice <laughs> so i was like okay i'm gonna wait for this to settle down for the calm down yeah well i mean i just you don't watch you don't watch season my anime at all you also don't really watch modern anime too often. So. That's why I was going to make a joke, but you guys got too heated up in the moment. It's like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to stay out of this So one. it's cool to have uh, Wheeze back that actually watched like modern anime. I so. know. I watched a bunch of seasonal st- garbage for this yeah. sh- podcast. <laughs> Anyways, now that you got your one thing you want to rant about. Yeah, the episodes, there we go. We should talk about the, what your expectation, not, what, what did you think of High School DD? Yeah. Okay. Like so. You said. Overall, the I understand what you say where the plot is kind of interesting because yeah. it is kind of interesting. It was a decent like first episode. Mm. I kind of like the first episode of High School more than the first episode of Attack on Titan. There we but go. But they're very different. Yeah. Like Attack on Titan focuses so much on just like the feeling of dread mm. and High School sets up like more of a world building like like thing of all this stuff going on in the background, which mm. I generally find more interesting. Um it did make me laugh like twice i thought it was actually kind of funny at points that's the main reason why i watch it. it's funny i the thing i hate about the show is like i'm fine with the main character being a pervert and mm. that being like part of the story i just don't like when the show treats its audience like they're also perfect yeah that's what i didn't care for i did have a hard time with that and they use the excuse of him being a pervert to keep on just like shoving in scenes yeah. when they're not even necessary. When yeah. there, well, I mean, there was that whole scene of Rias, the red-haired girl, in the first episode, where it's just like, she just changes out of her clothes and goes takes a shower. Yes. And this was completely pointless. Yeah. Like, it was just there to show her changing. Yeah. So, like, that kind of stuff was bogus. Um, and I would say welcome kind of the hentai. That ruined but... the show, but like, the parts of the plot that was hilarious was Issei, for the most part, I wish he was toned down a little bit, but I'm fine with him being kind of a pervert. He is hilarious when he's going on the date with the one girl, and it's like his hands brush hers, and he's such like a pervert. But then like as soon as it comes to like I'm gonna actually hold this girl's hand, he's just like this is a man's moment to like prove himself. And it was so funny. He actually does get toned down because of what she did to him in the first episode. Okay, because that kind of like haunts him. So around like. He gets pretty toned down yeah. as the show goes on. Yeah. I, not season one, I mean. I mean, like, the rest of like the other w- Way episodes. later, yeah. Yeah, because sure. you, you finished off after uh, he kills her. No. Isn't that where season one? No, no. season one ends up with Riser, yeah. The, yeah, the but Phoenix no, arc. Between, so the fact that he killed Rainer and then the stuff that happened with Phoenix, those two kind of combined make him start kind of like dying not dying down but um not being as much all right sure because well rainier is the biggest reason why he's scared of uh women yeah and that kind of like he's still a pervert but it kills a lot of the way he acts 
I guess you can argue that it just I mean, you have to dive pretty deep to get that out of the first season of the show. No, I'm not saying it's in the first season. I'm saying it's throughout the show itself, oh, throughout okay. the series. I'm saying like uh, like from the plot at the beginning like I feel like it could have been I know there's no way they're going to do this, but it could have mm. been cool to have him like learn and become like less of a pervert and understand that it's mm. how empty it is and and progress in that way because that would actually be interested interesting you do like, know about the opie song right the yes but like the whole show is just like shoving it down your throat while also having this random like kind of interesting plot going on in the yeah. background there was some really hilarious like there was a gag that i found really funny that was like this show is made for like 13 year olds while also being mature <laughs> and it kind of makes me laugh like there's the the, this thing that they always do in anime where it's like the camera's positioned behind them she has a skirt on and it's like mm. showing her legs and stuff and then the wind like blows and it turns yes. her skirt up to show a panty shit I was like oh my goodness this show <laughs> is <laughs> atrocious for <laughs> just stupid it was fan service it was the cliches. only fan service gag that I actually found funny but, yeah um, I don't know I don't I'm not a huge fan the, of fan service. The, I also don't like fan service. It, it just ruins the show for me. Yeah. Him, um, like, he's also a completely absurd character where, like, mm -hmm. the second time he dies from, like, the, the guy, he's just like, oh, man, I wish it was a woman again. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if I could die, at least it should be by her. It's like, oh, my goodness. Is is just like thought, like the only thing he thinks about when he dies. It's just like, oh yeah, man. Yeah, thought process. Yeah. So yeah. Like I've said before, the book's a lot better mainly because there's not as many visuals. Yeah. So yeah. You got that a lot makes more sense. of the story without the fan service. Yeah. I mean, in a way, like fan service isn't necessarily like my thing. I mean, other people do enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also watch a lot of shows like. I watched Kill la Kill and stuff, which mm -hmm. is based just all fan service, but the story was also really good at the same time. So I can see fan service being somewhat justified as long as the story is good enough to yeah overthrow the fan service. Yeah, basically. I think a lot of times fan service really detracts from the story. Yeah, especially if they they it's usually kind of a comedy relief thing almost, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's it's just like. We're gonna have this epic plot go on that you're invested into, and then just like random fan service garbage in between that. Yeah. What's awful is when they do it during like the important plot Beach thing. Each episode. Because then, yeah, it's like, oh, there's so much tension, and then it's just like random yeah. gag yep. thing, and it's like, oh. I mean, it's also, you also have to see the Japanese side of it, where Japanese people are so strict they're supposed to be so polite yeah. they're supposed to be so like it is like the thing of just this is so absurd so it makes it on exactly. tv exactly like that's the, that's what they like they want to see the absurd side of things yeah. they want to see people falling on women and yeah like stuff like, like that like the thing the thing that's weird about the fan service is is, is it's so childish it feels like a 13 year old is coming up with like these yeah plot devices like in noragami there's like fan service but it's mostly like it's just Bishamon having a conversation while she's taking a bath or whatever. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's not so like in your face and dorky. Bounty. Yeah, that's just like, yeah. oh no, she's running in trips and her clothes fall off. It's just like, whatever. It's there for people because it sells manga, you know. Mm -hmm. But like, it it wasn't there. It wasn't so in your face that it's just like this stupid joke. Right. That that's when it's like it's fine. Also, I don't mind. It's kind of less distracting when they act. When it's like in Code Geass, for example, there's just like she's in the shower or whatever, and she like turns around, and it shows like everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of less distracting than just like fog and just like awkward positions or whatever of the yeah. camera. Like it just feels natural. Like even yeah. though it's it's really pointless and it's dumb, it it feels more natural than just like these really awkward. Like we need fan service in this, you know. Yeah. Child's shown in show. I think the biggest thing that I find that's distracting, especially in high school DxD, 
is <coughs> I, I think it might be because I'm so used to paying attention to sound and stuff, but the sound effects. Yeah, no, that for the that. boobs. Yeah, that I got noticed me too. that. I'm like, what the heck? It sounds <laughs> like they took Good a blob match. of fat, which I know that's what a boob is, but still, and it just they just. Slapped it. I feel more like it Ooh. sounds like a bowl of good mac and cheese. But like yeah, the girl will awesome. move an inch and yeah. you hear Yeah, I no, I don't like that. Who green lighted this? I don't know. Like whose idea was it like we need a sound effect? For boo. Like who thought of that? I don't know. I don't care much for it at all. Oh my god. That's goodness. the only thing I find distracting because I've seen plenty of shows of nudity mm. and all of that and it's just like as soon as they move, it's just like a wet fish. Like, yeah. so I'm like, why? I wonder if we could pay someone to edit all that. Boom! You're good at it. I am good at editing. You want to edit all those sounds out? <laughs> then we can rewatch it together and see how much better it is. I'll just edit out the the flapping noise. Yeah. just nice. You just edit out. <laughs> <laughs> you edit out all the pointless fan service and just edit out all the weird sound so effects. edit it down to a five minute video five clip, all five minutes. seasons <laughs> it's just so. like holy crap this show is so fast paced the plot just like flies by it's insane it's like oh you want just the edited version <laughs> the main things that got me when i watched high school is are the sounds which i don't think are as bad in the newer seasons and the title cards yeah, I know the, the commercial title. cards. The I first like one, that. the very first one. Mm. I was like, I don't know what he's talking about. This isn't bad. Mm. It was just like her normal clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next one came up, and I was like, oh, I see. As it. the seasons go on, it gets, gets progressionally worse. worse to where well, like, they're not wearing anything. And then you have anything. the outro, which is literally all of them just. Well, yeah, I don't like the outro. Pole though. dancing. Yeah, <laughs> I like the song to the outro. I don't like the. The song visual. is pretty sweet. The song slaps, so the visuals do not. Yeah, I mean they yeah. do, but in a different way. <laughs> Not the good kind of slap in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. It's it's a weird show. Like I don't I don't understand whose its audience is. <laughs> Cause it's like Too this is obviously like made for children, but children aren't allowed to watch this. <laughs> well and that's <laughs> It's made for the person that wants fan service. Yeah. Show. I mean the story's good enough where people that don't necessarily care for fan service will watch it. That's what hooked me in the books. But, I, I said something and all I heard was the B word. I'm like, the, the books. Wo- the books. Okay, I thought you said the butts. <laughs> no, I said that's what got me into it. The books. books. <laughs> but yeah, it just made for not degenerate, just people that like fan service. Yeah. I mean, it's... people, that's the same. Re- some people watch Game of Thrones for the same reason. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like the show would be significantly better without so much fan service. I, I feel like so. you could still make. I think you can make a mature story about a character that's like a pervert and and whatever. Yeah. Like you can still make a mature story about that if you just don't treat your audience like they're also just like the main character. Yeah, for sure. I I think my favorite scene is when the monkey guy gets in. It's in like season three when they're fighting. We're not fighting, but they look up at the big bad kind of after a fight. Yeah. They see the giant dragon in the sky and then like... Issei says one thing about breasts, and the monkey guy's like, he's a total idiot, isn't he? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's him. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it is like the story still take place like in this school. Like, is he still just like going to school and then like so all the, the stuff story, happening around him? The story or in general. Does he go somewhere else? He goes to a lot of places. Okay. It, like he goes to the devil's world. Uh, in the books, I'm not sure if they made it this far in the anime. They might in uh, season five coming yeah. out. But in the books, he actually went to heaven. Um, the funny thing is, in heaven you're supposed to have like pure thoughts. They had to make a specific like thing for him because they kept on trying to reject him from heaven. Because <laughs> like he'd see all like the good looking uh, angel angel woman, and he like started having lewd thoughts. And he'd be like air air, gonna get kicked out, gonna get kicked out. I'm like okay, we gotta we gotta like make this system a bit better before he gets kicked out of here. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. That's amazing. Okay, so he does he like stay? He mostly stays like in his. Normal world, so or is the it school, just kind of like different arcs go to different places? It's a school show, so he's going to be okay. in school until the show ends. Well, not but. necessarily. Throughout the uh, books, they go through school, they graduate, they like basically okay. live through the normal school life. I was wondering if they it was kind of like... They actually graduate. Yes, yeah, so Arias Grammarian and like the seniors, because they're third years, actually graduate and move on oh. from school and do other things while still interacting with Issei. And then like that's what uh, season four is based around. Uh, and then I need to reread the books. I've been, I've kind of, I need to get back to reading those because I'm not, 
I'm past the current season. Yeah. But uh, the season, current season is going to be catching up pretty close to me. Okay. Um, but um, Issei and Asia and those people, they go up to third year and then Konako goes up to second year. So like it, it progresses. It's steadily, they progress through the school years and stuff okay. like that and they actually do stuff. That, uh, that's kind of cool. Cool. I, I like that concept of like, like, because Noragami kind of has that concept of, like, a normal life thing going on where you're just like, I'm going to school and everything. But then you just have all this crazy stuff going on, like, around you or, like, in yeah. the yeah. background at the same time. That's cool. My favorite part is probably uh, Issei's parents' reactions That's to everything he does. Yeah. The first thing when um, Reyes, Reyes mm. moves in with him... <laughs> Just like, oh, I'm so glad you actually found a woman. And when he gets more and says, like, I'm so jealous. Maybe his mom just slaps him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know my son was going to have four wives. Hold on a moment. All right. So we are going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back. So you can just hear a word from our sponsors. I'll become the harem king. <laughs> At time. At time. Oh, it's been so long. We even synced it up Has perfectly. It's been so long. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> All three of us, somehow. I tried I getting so. rid of Pyrolus, but he wouldn't leave. Oh, oh, so now that you have him back, you no longer need me, though you begged me to not go. <laughs> Just wait for the wow. pink slip in the locker. Wait, what? You have a locker? Yeah. I'm going to get one. Just huh. to fire you. Boom tried to do it by himself, but it was too exhausting running from one mic to the other one. Yeah. Isn't, isn't the pink slip the title to your car no that's the white paper they call it a pink slip in racing what racing for pinks what yeah you sure yeah huh no a pink slip is when you're being let go at a factory or something never got and your boss slip. has not even enough decency to like tell you you're fired <laughs> to your face so they just give you a pink slip in your locker yeah i've never got a pink slip most i've gotten was you have lack of personality, and you don't talk enough to people around you. You do too much work. At least I told it to you in your face. Because yeah, most of the time, they'll just be they'll just be like, "We're gonna fire Joe Schmo." So stuff a paper in his locker, <laughs> and he has to have all of his stuff removed off the premises. Maybe it's because what if he never, never uses his locker? locker? I was about to say yeah. <laughs> it's probably because I never <laughs> use my locker. I do that. I Dude never just use like, my locker. works for six months after yeah. he's fired because he just never checked his locker and then one day is like, oh, I have a locker. What? That might have fired. Me. There's like 20 pink slips in there. <laughs> so like he just living. won't get the hint. Like Can he, he not read? They put one pink slip in, the oldest one <laughs> drops down from the bottom. <laughs> the, bo the manager's like, maybe I should talk to him. Nah. I feel like that's what happened to Dude's me. Dude's like, oh, I have a locker. I could put it in my locker. Opens up his locker. <laughs> Pink slips. I got a locker. I open it once. I was like, I got a cubicle for all my stuff. And I closed it and went back to my office. <laughs> and then the, the filthy I don't, factory workers use theirs. Yeah, I don't get pay now. <laughs> I don't get uh, office workers using lockers at all. Maybe to store their coats. Mm -hmm. But even still, half the time, they can just have a coat rack. I don't yeah, know. I mean, that's... I guess you can throw like a lunchbox in there. That's all I do. If I have something to heat up, I'll throw my lunchbox in there. Yeah, but so... half the time, all the people I work with, they'll throw it in their fridge. Not in yeah. their fridge, but in the fridge. Listen to this. I took my Weird. first week of job orientation with two guy, two other guys who were in the, who are working in the um, factory part. Yeah. They had a share a locker. Really? And I got my own locker. <laughs> no one used. Wow. And I'm like, I sit in a cubicle. <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> I'm like, I never touched that thing. Why do I have it? <laughs> All right. So let's move on to, well, we're pretty much done talking about DXD. Yeah. About DXD, right? Yeah, I think so. So what else do we want to move episode. on to? You you like to read I, a lot. I'd suggest checking out either the manga or the light novel, please. Because right. I feel like you'd like that better. All right. Here's a question for you guys. What is your favorite, let me think of the right saying. Off brand anime? No. Your okay. favorite, what is it? Uh, guilty pleasure for anime. Something that you don't want people to know that you watch, but you loved it. Currently, it's kind of Platinum End because it's not very good, but it's also, I love it. But it's not degenerate? Uh, there's nudity in it. Really? Yeah. Platinum End has nudity. Wow. Yep. Okay. This one guy has this thing for his sister. <laughs> nice. What a sister. <laughs> okay, it's Dang, legitimately okay. getting better. 
It's not done yet? No. Wow. It's getting better. Like this, you know how Death Note, like the first half, something big happens, and then it kind of just got, like, it got worse. It was still yeah. fine. Yeah. This show was kind of like painful, and then something big happened, and then it started getting way better. Nice. It got better because of the sister-brother love. Uh, Yeah, that, that, that guy. Yeah, he... He, um, things happened to that guy. So, from his sister, his, his sister. backstory, it's like, okay, here's the villain. We have this big showdown. Let's make the villain more relatable. So, Wait, is the villain the one that has the sister thing? So, yeah. So, huh, let's make the villain, so much let's sense. make the villain more relatable. He's, he's got this thing where he's like obsessed. He he's obsessed with the sister of how like pure and like wonderful she is. Mm -hmm. He also has this thing where he's like, okay, rich people are the only people that matter because poor people just suck and are never going to get anywhere in life so Freaking automatically so he's like super likable sure so, yeah the other thing i kind of like this guy actually, so he far. does is um his sister's like hey i kind of like this guy i got a boyfriend and he just like flips out and he's like no one's gonna defile my sister and goes to like he like freaks out and like jumps at her she like falls back off of this pavilion thing and splits her head on a cement and dies. Nice. He goes down and is like, oh no, I gotta save her. Wait, if she dies and I preserve her body, she will always be pure. So he didn't Dang, really call okay. an ambulance. Okay, so he like he like packages her up. He like just like takes her clothes off, packages her up in this thing, that's where the nudity comes in. <laughs> and he's just like Okay, now she's preserved and she's perfect. And then he just cries and is like, I, can't, I just wish she was still alive. So then he becomes suicidal, which is where the plot comes in, where everyone who is like chosen to be a God candidate was suicidal. And then the God comes down and just like, you can become God. And so his like goal was to become God and then like make his sister an angel so that she could be with him again. No one so, can defile my sister so, but me. Obviously, he's super, super likable. You know, like his whole just like rich people are the only people that matter thing and being like creepily obsessed with I his mean, sister. He's not like horny for his sister. He's just like, it's even worse than that. He's just like, no one can defile her. She is perfect. I will not let a boy near my sister. So, well, okay. The question is, what if she became, like, not straight? He wouldn't let anyone near his sister. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, she's just like, I, I kind of want a boyfriend. And then he just, like, freaks her out so much she falls off the thing and dies. I kind of disagree with you. <gasps> <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, I can see that how that would be uh, a guilty pleasure. Relatable. Yeah. Do, yeah. Do, do, can oh. I spoil the show? Go ahead. Okay, so halfway through the show, um, the main character is just like, I don't want to kill anybody. That's not going to make me happy. You don't want to be happy. That's what's kind of annoying about the show. That's okay. why it's a guilty pleasure because the main character is kind of annoying. I, I get his like thing because he's, he's like really depressed and stuff, but he's kind of annoying because he's just like, I refuse to kill no matter what. At a certain point in the show, yeah. So real quick question. Are just all this season's anime just filled with annoying main characters? That's what I'm getting so far. Most? Maybe. If not all of them, yes. Tanjiro okay. is a much better character than this guy so far. This guy could get better, but like, he was so annoying. Anyways, eventually he is shot with, a, with Cupid's arrow from this one guy, so now he's like in love with him and will do whatever he says. And this guy is like an absolute Chad. He's got cancer. He's like, I'm going to kill this guy because if this guy kills all the other God candidates and becomes God, I don't want him ruling over what's what my family, you know, is left here. So he's like, I'm doing all this for my family. The last thing I want to do is kill this guy because he is messed up and needs to die. There's no way I'm letting him become God. So in the, the ending, it just like sets up this whole thing where you're waiting for the main character to be like, no, you can't kill him. You have to like leave him alive and uh, like pay for his crimes in jail or whatever, even though he's like basically infinitely powerful with everything he has. Mm. Instead, he has like the red arrow, so he doesn't do it. They're Him and the girl are like holding him down because angel wings allow you to basically teleport, mm. but he's got his angel wings wrapped around him and his like girlfriend kind of, his love interest, also has her angel like wings wrapped around him so he's hauled in place this guy's got this huge gun because he's like this ex-military guy and 
it's like setting up all this tension. He pulls the trigger. He obliterates this guy. Nice. It was so satisfying that this villain just like his head comes off. His body's just like riddled with holes. He can, <laughs> it shows in detail like the mm. like skeletal like fracturing of like his body nice. as the bullets like enter his body. Well, like there is combat? Hey, okay. There is no question that this guy is dead. Yeah. <laughs> it was the most satisfying thing because you're just waiting for that stupid main character thing to be like, no, we have to leave him alive. It's wrong to kill people, but they just blitz him. Obliterate so that's guy. how you kill your evil villain when you only want that evil villain to be in one season. Like, <laughs> it was so satisfying because with his backstory already, he's the most relatable character yeah. ever. And you're like, man, I just really like this guy. And then at the very end, he's just like, no, please. I just want my sister. And he's like begging the like main character to uh, like, like trying to get on his side because he knows he's such a weakling that he would like not want him to die you know even though this guy's a monster and has killed so many people right, yeah so he's doing that but like he's got the red arrow of the guy that's about to shoot the guy so he's like mm. that won't work dang it and then he's like to the girl and he's like i'll do anything i'll marry you i'll make you the happiest woman ever whatever you want i'll give you all the money in the world and then he just gets obliterated nice. so nice. that's cool yeah it was really really satisfying and then after that the story is kind of changing into a new direction um so it's kind of cool it's like it's, it's really a unique story, but it's also kind of like, this is kind of cringe and kind of dumb, but yeah. I really like it. All right, cool. But the second half is definitely getting better. Well, I'll see how it ends. Yeah. And cool. give an update. But yeah. All right. Sounds that's good. my guilty pleasure show. <laughs> good enough for me. All right, Pyro, what's up with you? I don't have a guilty pleasure show. I'm okay with admitting anything I've watched. Okay. What's the worst show you've seen, then? What's the, like show that you think might be might kind of suck but you like it anyways do yeah. you have any shows like that they feel like probably suck. only thing i think of is arrow manga sense <laughs> it's like so hot garbage that it's amazing yeah that's fair i mean i don't know anybody that actually likes that show it's a meme yeah it's a big meme i don't know anybody that actually likes the show <clears throat> i okay. genuinely like it where i've like read the manga i think it's entertaining funny and i like the process of him trying to become like a novelist yeah cool Nice. What about you, Boom? Uh, shoot. <laughs> you can't just ask questions and not have I answers. Uh, I'm going to have to. I need to remember. While he's name. doing that, I actually suggested our manga sensei two Wii's because of the novel thing. Yeah. Like, the I, degenerate stuff didn't even phase me. I was like, I think you'd like this like, because this guy's a novelist. Like, and I'm like, to be. dude, this guy's in love with his sister. And his sister <laughs> is the worst human being, like, ever. Yeah, I was expecting a different response. I was expecting, yeah, I can relate this guy because he's supposed to be a novelist. Because <laughs> that's kind of why I relate to him. Instead, I was just and, like, he likes Sagri. Sagri's the, like, most hated character yeah. I've ever experienced in fiction. And... And that's all I care about. Well, I did get some laughs with you in common ground between Chris and Monomusa. Yeah, that's so. true. There was a few. There was a few uh, things that made me laugh in that show. So I, that's all that mattered to me. What? How did you take this whole novel thing? Like trying to be a novelist? I don't. I don't remember. So the main I things don't... that made me laugh were like when they're trying to come up with ideas, so they're just spinning in a circle, literally trying <laughs> to figure stuff out. Yeah. I mean, that's relatable. At least I, I, don't, I don't remember much of the novel part. <laughs> I just remember the cringe <laughs> painful parts. That's fair. Maybe I'm just, I've gotten to a stage in life where I just omit out the cringe stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I just remember the good parts of stuff. That, that would be amazing. I feel if, like that's probably how my mind works. If, if my mind worked that way, I'd be like, Clone Wars is the best animated <laughs> show ever made. Because it's like, its high points are so high and its mm. low points are so low. It's yeah. like, it's like, wow, these episodes were extremely painful. But holy crap, these episodes were amazing. All right, so I have actually a couple. Nice. <laughs> the first one that I find that is like, a, I don't know, I love this show, but it's so stupid. And it's got such stupid, like, fan service stuff in it is uh, Overly Cautious Hero. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've heard Overly Cautious Hero is really funny. It's funny. Didn't you show it, me the first episode? Mm, I don't know. I might have recommended it to you. I've never watched it, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's funny, but it's just also this, like, really schlocky. Yeah. Like, it is such a classic isekai that... It, it's such an isekai that makes fun, fun of isekais. 
And then literally the only reason the goddess even stands the main character is just because he's ripped and hot. <laughs> literally that's the only reason she cares anything about him half the time. That's great. I mean it does kind of divulge into the plot where like it turns out like the goddess and him were actually from a previous world that he was mm. reincarnated to. But then she died and like became a goddess and mm. stuff like that. Oh and dang. Just, like, it's actually got a plot to it. That's cool. But it's pretty cool. That one's all right i guess that one i just found really funny uh the main one i really enjoy just because it was fun but i feel like everybody else says it's too much for fan service is kill a kill that yeah that one i've seen a lot of mixed reviews on some people really really like it other people are like this is really really bad it is really really bad but it is such such a good show yeah like the action scenes are great the music's great yes the clothes explode every five seconds yes there is a sub-military group that's fighting against the school and they're called nudists <laughs> nice <laughs> and their whole thing is this bare butt naked because they're trying to show that they don't need clothing to fight people with super powered clothing. That's that's kind of funny. Yeah. So the whole show, like, do you know, do you guys know the plot of Kill a Kill? No, I don't. No. Okay. So the main character, uh, her, I think it's dad. It's been a long time since, seen, since I've seen the show, but her dad or grandpa developed this school uniform that is sentient. Okay. So there's this fabric oh. that makes these school uniforms kind of sentient, mm -hmm. and it feeds off the blood or life force of the user. Mm -hmm. And it lets them transform, it makes them powerful, it gives them different abilities and stuff. And he ends up getting killed by the scissor blade. Okay. And what happens is she finds half the scissor blade, and then she's trying to find the other half of the scissor blade, because whoever holds the other half of the scissor blade is who killed her her father i think oh, it's her okay. father so but she ends up accidentally melding she falls into this secret underground layer that's full of like discarded clothing and stuff mm -hmm. and the uniform her father made attaches to her and is like basically stuck on her right okay so uh it basically transforms her and you've all seen the pictures and stuff where it's really skimpy yeah where mm -hmm. they transform and stuff but it's fully sentient <laughs> and it's as funny it's probably one of the funniest characters in the show <laughs> but then she ends up going to this other school where the whole school has this tier arc where like the lowest tier people don't even get like sentient uniforms mm. next tier gets like really stupid ones <laughs> and like each tier all the way up to like the the school council has different tiers <laughs> of sentient uniforms that they wear that have, give them powers and stuff <laughs> so like the highest tier one is basically like she's god basically and yeah. like this whole school is like such a big school that it rules the town that surrounds it. <laughs> so like basically whatever grade, like whatever whatever your grades are in this school is like where yeah. you live. So the main okay. character ends up meeting this girl that basically lives in the slums because yeah. her grades are so bad. Her mm -hmm. whole family lives in the slums and like this girl's like dad and brother are just nothing but degenerates. Mm -hmm. So she, they're always trying to like peek on the main character, like when she's trying to change and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the main character follows the traces and finds the girl that has the other half of the scissor blade. But her whole thing is she has to work her way up to the top of the school council to fight the class, the school like president right mm -hmm. but the school president has a bunch of lieutenants from all these <laughs> other clubs <laughs> that have their own uniform mm -hmm. so like there's the head of the boxing club <laughs> that her, his uniform allows him to get like spiked boxing gloves and stuff <laughs> and that's like the first can these scene. uniforms talk some of them can only the one only the special uniform that she has. Okay, I'm just imagining everyone's uniform just can like talk and just no. like these crowded school with like all these uniforms just be like, hey, you're looking nice today. It's not like that. Like... They're sentient in the <laughs> way where they kind of so read. Funny. Yeah, I, like, I just wonder if they can like, oh God, wash me, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't cleaned in years. <laughs> no, <laughs> that would have been great, but no. Okay. But basically it's like this whole 
thing where she's working her way up. She's fighting different like presidents of yeah. clubs where she like she fights the marching band leader. Mm, okay. She fights like this the what are they called the sword art leader and stuff like that. They all have these really schlocky backstories. <laughs> like literally the sword leader made himself blind. Dang. So that way he could use a sword better. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Yeah. And focus on sound only. Yeah, exactly. That's his thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it, it's it's really weird. And then like the whole end of the plot, basically basically the lady that took the other half of the sword, the scissor blade, is a clothing designer <laughs> that killed her father to get the ideas for the clothing and stuff. Oh so this my whole world, goodness. This whole world just runs on clothing. It's just a fashion like yes. designer. Yes. Watch. Instead of the role being like Globe, it's gonna be a t-shirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> but then halfway through the series, this paramilitary group comes in and they're the nudists. Mm -hmm. Where they're fighting against the hierarchy of the school because they all have specialty <laughs> oh clothing. Gosh. So they believe that they should have a right to fight without any clothing. So you're so saying <laughs> it turns into the plot of Dead Man Wonderland? Or just like the random rebellion against no. the like... No, not necessarily. It's a little bit better than that. This okay. is just a normal public school in America. <laughs> Shirts versus no shirts. Let's go. Basically what it devolves down it's to. Just it's just gym class. Great. Dodgeball. It's just the main football. Flag but there's, football. there's so much fan service. There's so much humor. The story is actually half decent. Like there's... <coughs> Excuse me. The way they do like the hierarchies and like the classes and stuff, it makes sense when you watch it, but it's just so unbelievable that yeah, you can definitely tell it's a trigger um, animation. Yeah, nice. So that's lovely. Yeah. Sounds that's, like a show. That's the one I binged at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and never have watched again. <laughs> Like, I regret four, like, this, but it was amazing. You pinched it from four to, like, the next day? Oh, it was when I was doing third shift. Oh, okay. So I was on my day off, and I had to stay up all night. So you're doing this stupid thing where I'd work a day, yeah. have a day off, work a day, have a day off. So I couldn't just work at night and then have a normal day. Have a rest. normal day. Yeah. I'd actually have to work at night, sleep the whole day, stay up the whole night yeah. I had off. So I couldn't do anything, so all I just binged anime. Yeah, I know so, that's like. Yeah, so I binged nice. lots of anime. I binged Kill a Kill, Gurren Lagann, uh, Death Note was one of them. Oh, nice. Sword Art Online. Death Note's a good binge. It is a good binge. Definitely don't watch that show episode by episode. <laughs> My God, you would not be able to get through it. I I was like. Well, it was one of the first anime I watched, and I was like, I'll watch one episode while I eat lunch. And then I'm like, I'll watch three more episodes. I'll watch an episode. Oh, my phone's gone. I tried watching the shower. And I was like, <laughs> the first anime I watched was Full Metal Alchemist, the first series. And I was like, oh, I'll just watch a couple episodes. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I knew, I started watching at 8 o'clock at night. Next thing I knew, it was 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, the the thing with um, Platinum End, because the creator of Death Note, same, like, two creators. Yeah. It's got that same, like, thing where basically every episode ends on some, like, insane cliffhanger. Yeah. So even though the story or the characters aren't, like, the best, like, just the fact that it ends in, like, a cliffhanger, it's like, I, I have no idea where the show's gonna go either, because it's, like, it's so chaotic and right. random. So, like, it ends with a cliffhanger, and then it's like, Oh man, but watching it weekly, I haven't been able to binge it. But it still ends with a cliffhanger every yeah. time. It's like, no. That does suck. <laughs> um, I had that um, Attack on Titans kind of like that right now. Yeah. Where the action is so packed in there that it feels like you just started watching the episode and then it ends. You're like, oh, yeah. come on. I only got to watch two minutes of this. I feel like... Uh, Demon Slayer has had the same like cliffhanger at the end of every single like episode. It's like, and now everyone's gonna die. And you're like, oh crap. And then the next episode happens. And then by the end of it, now everyone's gonna die. Pretty much, yeah. Huh. <laughs> I'm like, Dang. that's a weird loop I didn't realize. Yeah. I was like, I, this feels familiar, but things are still <laughs> happening. All right. So, what else we want to talk about? <coughs> It's all about I think that's Genesee. probably about it. 
Is that it? Is it I have, so, I have no so many things I could still talk you. about. Okay. I mean, let's, we can go longer. Like, I, I watched Arcane. Arcane was really good. Oh, okay. I don't think he knows you, that. You, haven't, you do know what Arcane is? It's the League of Legends. It's the League of oh, Legends. Okay. Netflix anime. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's really good. The Wait, animation. What? what? They, they did a what? It's they a did League a... of Legends. You know Jinx from League of Legends. I don't know League of Legends too well. Okay, do you know the crazy lady of a lock rocket launcher? Yeah, the short thing, yeah. Yes. Uh, no, not the furry. No. Not the furry. Okay. The skinny girl with purple hair. No. Okay. Anyways, they did an origin story for one of the characters in League of Legends. Why? Money. It's it's um, actually good. I do hear it's really good. Like, Gaguk, like had mad praises for it. I... Like, I know nothing about League of Legends, and I really don't care about League of Legends at all. Mm -hmm. But the show was actually really good. The Netflix world building the thing. The world building's great. The animation is insanely good. Wait, hold on. Is this the first actual good game adaption? Yes. Arguable, it's, arguable but sure. It's kind of an edgy, like, edge lord story at certain mm -hmm. points. There's also... There's one thing in it that makes it feel like a game adaptation, and that's when one character who's never fought before just, like, pulls out this big battle hammer thing and starts, like, fighting in this one scene that I'm like, this feels kind of awkward. Oh, he's a champion in the game. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But um, besides for that, it's got, like, a really great story. It's got a ton of world building because there's, like, the capital city, and then there's kind of, like, this the slums, basically. And they're all under, like, the, like the capital you know like controls everything but the slums are so like separate that the the like politicians in the capital city don't really do much with them and then like people from the slums stole something really important from the capital city so there's like all this tension leading up to a war and like the our characters are kind of caught in the middle of it it's it also doesn't really have like, it has its main characters, but it also just kind of goes around and follows a bunch of different perspectives. So it shows the politics side and then the very, like, the personal side of, like, of the main character. And, um, because the main character is the red-haired girl and then the blue-haired girl is Jinx and their sisters. So it's, like, her finding her sister again after, like, a bunch of stuff went down. Episode 3 was really good and really a uh, surprising like twist he said red and blue and now he's adding it to his watch list <laughs> and then <Maybe. laughs> it like it just leads up to uh, a crazy like cliffhanger ending okay, apparently cool. it's supposed to have like a bunch of seasons um really? and they're gonna like keep making this for a while that's cool uh, it'll probably take a really long time because the animation is really really good it's really impressive it gave me like um into the spider-verse vibes like it's it's got that kind of unique look um 3d art style okay um it kind of it's almost like painted kind of look it's, it's really unique you'll have to see it it's also it's pretty it's it's like pg-13 level so it's got some like decent violence it's not like super crazy but it's it's not um it doesn't feel censored which is kind of nice for like uh violence and fighting and stuff the um the characters are really good the politics are really interesting and it just has some it, there's like this one guy who has all kinds of potential and set up to become a villain and then like doesn't become a villain and then a character that is a villain kind of like becomes less of a villain and kind of gives up like what he was trying to do the whole time it's it's really fascinating none of the characters it doesn't feel like a protagonist antagonist story it okay. just feels like a bunch of people doing things in this world are you sure that's an anime the art so far it's not, not really... an anime oh, it's okay. a netflix oh, animation okay. oh, they, all right they they categorize it underneath their anime division mm. yeah it's not anime but it's just it's a... a netflix thing like okay i don't know people can argue it's anime i think it does it have a japanese director i don't think so wow the main character is flatter than a doorknob Hey, some people <laughs> like the petite boom. <laughs> Calm down. The uh, <coughs> you didn't even hear the saying I used to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's really 
I heard flatter than a doornail. It's a doorknob. Oh. That makes no sense. I know. That's why I used it. Um, like Jace is a cool character. Yeah. Um, Jinx. Is this is cool. this is Jinx from the actual uh, Game. League of Legends. So that's a shark. Yes, it is. it's a shark rocket launcher. So. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, it's supposed to be really cool. I do want to watch it. I'm just I have so many other. It is cool. I would recommend. I don't know what that is, but okay. I, some people that were like, "This is the best thing." I, I don't think it's that good, but I do think it's really good. I mean, I will say, um, Netflix has been doing really good when they tr- take a series like this and they just do their own thing with it. Yeah, if they allow people to do good animations, like um, it seems like it's fitting within their the lore of the world. I'm not like yeah. I don't really know how much lore. League of Legends has, From what aware, not much. but it's it's a really good like story for what what it is. I mean, Netflix's um, Castlevania series was really good. Yeah, it's probably like similar to that. It is like it's obviously the animation's a little similar. This is more three D. The other one was not as much three D. Okay. But it's, yeah. But I like what Netflix is doing with those type of animations. I don't yeah. like it when they take. Uh, shows and try to brand it underneath their own anime thing yeah especially really wacky shows kind of like um i hear they tried doing way of the house husband Mm. the short manga series and it just kind of flopped yeah because they did a really bad adaptation of it yeah arcane was cool it it definitely felt a little edgelord sometimes yeah that would probably be it's like detraction is it, it it felt edgy at points just to be like really edgy or whatever it is kind of League of Legends, though. Yeah. I'm going to say it's so, more of Netflix. It could be Netflix as well, but I also hear League of Legends can also be edgy, too, sometimes. I mean, you have a yeah. blind monk <laughs> that just punches things, so. Yeah, but Netflix is Netflix. Yes, Netflix is Netflix. It's a show. I watched it a while ago. It was really good. A while ago? Like a month or so ago? Like, yeah, like a month ago. Okay, cool. I might have to watch it, mainly just for the hair color. I knew it. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, red haired girl is not my favorite, and blue haired girl is is decent. Okay, cool. I guess partially I don't love any of the characters, but I like all of the characters. Yeah, that might be why I don't like it as much as some people do. I mean that makes sense because a lot of people they kind of get attached to these characters too because yeah. there is lore in the game. So the one character I probably got attached to the most died like. Really early on. So I hate like, it when that happens. Rip. All right, cool. Well, that's a cool show. What else have you yeah. seen? Been looking at, watching, reading, <coughs> learning. Um. Do you know what the show K is? The anime K. Anime K. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? Or no. I don't think so. Okay. That's supposed to be a Netflix original. K. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, yeah, I finished Attack Top Destiny. Yeah, it says it has on Netflix, only on Netflix. I, I get the Funimation thing whenever I go to watch it. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different show. Of course, they're not going to give it to me if I just put in K. Why well, is what it's called, K? I know, it's, maybe which they is, took it off. Which is stupid, because manga list, uh, not manga list, anime, my anime... I went to look it up, K, and I was like, you need to enter at least three characters. Like, it's just called K. What do you mean you entered three characters? It was literally just called K. So I googled K anime, yeah. and it's like, oh, here's K on my anime. I was like, you even have it listed as just K. What, what do you mean? That's funny. That's actually pretty great. I, I feel like uh, I've seen, I know what the like the poster looks like. It's from like, like 2014, I... the original series. 2013, 2014. Did you watch it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the first season and then the movie is good. Uh, second season, I like the story, but it gets a lot more fan servicey than what the first movie, than what the first series and the movie were. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I don't like it that as much. Like I was telling Boom either last episode or the episode before, I can't really watch it anymore because it'll have random panty shots that extend for way too long. And yeah. I don't really feel comfortable watching that in my house with my grandparents living there. That is kind of annoying. Which sucks, because I really like, like I said, the plot is amazing. 
but it just I don't know why they all of a sudden had to go all perverted yeah it's weird when especially that it started out not like that let me put it this way characters that didn't have breasts before now for some reason have breasts Mm. and now they're bouncing that's animated weird. watch together with older kids. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> X. Let's go. <laughs> Transformers. Zoids. Oh, these are all a pretty kid show. Yeah, these are younger kids. Here show. we go. Yugi. Yeah. Card Captor Sakura. Wow, that's interesting. You they just randomly have like Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> Gems for you, boom. All right, let's see what they suggest for me. Uh, I've seen all of these Death basically. Note. Angel that beats. means that they're doing good then. Hunter, Hunter, let's go. I think this is just all their anime. I think it is just all their anime. <gasps> they're just is like you've seen JoJo? everything. <coughs> wow, don't I die. died. Don't, don't die. JoJo killed me. Don't die. You're not supposed to die. On the bright side, and you do die, I can put on your tombstone, this was a JoJo reference. <laughs> His last words were, that's JoJo. He died because of a JoJo reference. He is the ultimate JoJo reference. Oh, it'd be only on Netflix. Is it here? I can't believe I'm still looking at this. I'm promising you, it's not a, it's not in Netflix only. Okay. Wow. Well, anyways, I think um, that's probably it for the episode. <gasps> is that Attack on Titan? This actually looks pretty good. Like Attack on Werewolf. Attack on Werewolf. Attack on Werewolf. What? <laughs> ATW, Attack on Werewolf. You know, A- I am O-W. watching Attack on Titan three episodes in. They're, they're, they're... Yeah, I know. Nobody's fought. Nobody can fight the big naked monsters. Everyone just fails. They all suck at it. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Be prepared for five seasons or four seasons of that. <laughs> four seasons of no one can kill the naked monster. That. That if it was like a modern show and if it was like an isekai, it would just be called like no one can defeat the big naked monsters. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> or it would just be like Jager can't defeat the monsters because he's not powerful enough. That'd be the title. Jager versus the naked monster. <laughs> that would be if it was in uh in America. That would be its name. Who's yeah. gonna win? <laughs> Live on Sunday, 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 Naked Monsters. <laughs> Who will win? Boy with parental issues or Naked Monster? <laughs> Tune in at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. <laughs> Jokes on you, it's Mikasa the Brocon. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the, there's a part in the final show, or final season, part one, where Mikasa is pretty cool in it. Mm. But then also at the same time, it's just like, dang, I kind of wish half the cast would die right now in there. <laughs> my gosh, Mikasa, you broke my back with your manly strength. <laughs> what are you? Mikasa is insane. They're like, to introducing Mikasa, it's just like, the <laughs> Aaron's like running at these bullies, and then they're like, oh, it's him. We're going to beat the crap out of him. And then it's like, oh, crap, it's Mikasa behind him. Let's get out of here. I really enjoy the fact that I can keep up the guys' conversations by only watching a slap on Titan. You know, having you showed me the first episode of a slap on Titan, man, that, that like blonde haired guy at the beginning, it was like, <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't think of this guy in the same way. But he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty wimpy in the in what the do you show. Mean I'm a redhead. He just like runs out there. He's like, dude, tight. I'm gonna go kill him because I owe your family so much. And then he's like, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Meanwhile, the nope. slap of time's like, sorry, but your mom wasn't that good to sleep with anyway. <laughs> that that meme in um, it, uh, Dark Souls where like the definition of nope, and yeah. he just like puts out the the lantern and the dog like bone thing is just standing there. And he just turns around, and walks away. That's nope. that character. <laughs> That's that character's whole thing. He's just like, I'm gonna save you guys, and he just looks up at him. He's like. I'm gonna save you guys. He just picks them <laughs> up and runs. Oh, it is pretty good. It was. It did kind of annoy me that he didn't even try to pick up the house to like help 
help their uh, I know, and it wasn't even out. that much of the house. It was like, like a small it piece. It seems like they were kind of like budging it. And if I know anything from video games, you just have to get all the characters around the area and all like tap triangle together. And you can lift it. And you could like pick her up and carry her and the kids. Because you guys were like really freaking fast. Yeah. <laughs> There's like nobody in the street. Everyone's like mass panic hysteria running away and he just is so fast there's nobody in this street where they have the whole moment where aaron like freaks out and, like smacks him because he's so mad right <laughs> it's like there's nobody here how are you so fast oh come on aaron i can feel mikasa lifting more of this house than you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm surprised mikasa didn't just like kick the, the house off of i know mother. right just like, it was all mikasa's fault yeah what the heck she should have just Wait, flip kick to the maybe the she Titan. has an issue with the uh, mother. Maybe that's why she. That was happen. the whole yeah. I'm convinced Mikasa could just like kill all the Titans. Me too. Like like Aaron's all like I'm gonna kill all the Titans. She's like well if you want to I was going Let, to. Let's but... put it this way: she threw Aaron against the wall, no issue, when he had a load of wood on his back, and then <laughs> yeah. proceeded to for some reason <laughs> get hot over Aaron's <laughs> Titan form. Spoilers. Uh. No. Yeah, that's not that how is it how it happened. <laughs> no, it's I watched not. a slap on Titan. I think <laughs> I'm a little qualified here. Well, how well you're so unqualified is not even funny. I am very qualified. I know that there's gas inside those things that launch with the air and that they snort that for fun. <laughs> I know what happened. Okay, the Spider Man hip thruster. Uh, <laughs> Uh, grappling hooks are a little awkward when they're like it's showing random it's weird because the, at the end of the third episode it's just like him getting into that little like training he's like putting training wheels on yeah and then the the next scene it shows him like like flying through the sky with the things they're kind of funny. They're kind of cool. They they're are. also kind of funny at the same time because they're just like, wee! Like, Realistically, with though, do you know how much back strength you're going to have to have oh my goodness, to that's keep insane. your body straight? Yes. Because you're being pulled from it, so it's like, whoa! I mean, like, Spider Man already just breaks all the, like, G Force, like, yeah. like, laws where he would just get splattered just from, like, the they intensity. They do. On the bright side, he's using webs from his arms, not his Yeah, <laughs> they're just like, <laughs> imagine they just hook into a wall. On their back just <laughs> snaps. Well, I mean, like that could happen. <laughs> how fast they go? They do, in all actuality, do it fairly well. Where when they are going fast, they are basically sideways and kind of like flying feet first. It is kind of weird how they do the multi-directional gear, but it yeah. is it's still a really cool design. Mm -hmm. The it thing I cool. find the funniest is after Attack on Titan came out that year during Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Everybody was dressed up as an Attack on Titan character, and they all had the hell of a time trying to walk through Comic Con <laughs> with that big, huge multi directional gear thing on. Imagine being the person testing the multi directional gear. How many time? How many people they went through that just got splattered on the wall? Like, this was too hard. This was too weak. Okay, that was way okay. That guy's back just broke. He didn't make it to the wall. I'm waiting for someone to just skin themselves and then go to. Comic Con as a Titan. Someone kind of already uh, went as a Titan. They went as Jaeger in his Titan form. Mm. He kind of got mad. I th <coughs> was it that the one that got a uh, band or kicked out or something? Yeah, because he was shirtless and yeah. they don't have nudity there, which I thought was very understandable because it made me a little uncomfortable. So far, I really like certain things about Attack on Titan, like the feeling of dread and just like the the Titans just feel so ominous, mm. like. The first couple episodes, it just feels like, it feels like some far off threat, especially because not many people have experienced it. Yeah. So having him gone through it, it feels like a terrorist bombing kind of, mm -hmm. and how like people would react to that, experiencing it and not experiencing it. And even though it's like this big event, it happens somewhere else, so people are kind of distant from it. Yeah. But then the people that have gone through are just like, this is messed up. Right. So having that is kind of interesting. And the Titans just being like so terrifying. It is a little funny. It is interesting. It it makes sense to me. It doesn't feel like a plot hole. But that the colossal Titan like breaks through the first wall and then just I guess hangs out. Like I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he like broke through that wall and then they escape and then it's like three years later. Yeah. Uh, like I, I like I don't know what he's doing. Maybe a little. little... They explain that in later 
um, later episodes. Okay. Like season three, season two. That makes sense. Because they, they explain. I mean, they explain the whole thing. Like the first half, if not the first season, is very chaotic and fast. They do a lot okay. of time jump, and it's just setting up the story. Okay. And then they do a lot of backstory. Okay. So it, it does make a lot of sense. Yeah. It's a uh, really well written story. That's cool. I, and I'm totally like, I feel like the Titans aren't like super smart, and they're not always like. It's not like every Titan is constantly just surrounding the wall, like trying to bang through it. Correct. So it makes sense to me that they just kind of wander around like, oh, I'll break through this. I'll eat these things. Yep. And then I'm just going to hang out because I'm not hungry or whatever. Like, yeah, it, it would make sense to me that Titans would just wander. Well, around. yeah. And a um, minor spoiler, it, it, it comes up fairly soon in the show, too. Yeah. Titans will like heart hibernate if there's no light. Oh, so that's cool. Like he that's also me. one reason why it's like not constantly a threat. So like at nighttime, yeah. it's safe. And that, that's stuff, pretty so. cool. I why like... don't they hunt them at night then? Well, that is kind of part of the show. Okay. So. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that concept because it's not like sometimes shows will use this like threat thing and then for no reason have the threat kind of like go away for a little bit to yeah. like build tension. But it's like, could it this person just like go in at any time and just kill everybody right. like why, why is he waiting around the thing is like uh not trying to spoil it spoil it too much but like they hibernate in the way where they're not like constantly roaming around mm -hmm. but they can move and they can do stuff okay yeah so it's kind of like a titan goes to sleep yeah but they can kind of wake up and like a snake in the winter sure yeah it's it, like i feel titans give off the vibe of more like animalistic than yep uh they human are. So because of that, it makes sense that they wouldn't, they wouldn't just be like, we're going to take the city. Yeah. yeah. They're not in siege mode. Yeah. They're just like, there's humans on the other side. I want to eat them. Yeah. They just like break through the wall. Yeah. I wonder what they're eating if they're not eating humans. Not Do they just did, like eat though. plants. That'd be funny. Uh, they could just... I, can, I can tell you. I don't want to but... know. Okay. But it would be hilarious if they can just eat plants, but then they're just like, I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to, ooh, snack. It, it's the what titans if... the titans are insanely interesting as like an uh, enemy yeah what if the humans just like if they could eat plants the humans just like started growing trees and then just like had a treaty with the titans and then they just ate trees and they coexisted in humanity society and they got like the taylor people from uh kill la kill to make giant clothes for them so they don't look so freaky and then just have this whole society of titans and then the smaller humans just like hanging out and it's like this rom-com uh uh school story. life school life story between aaron and since i know he has like a titan form and then there'll be like this love triangle between him and mikasa and then like a, some titan because he has a titan form too and it's just like this whole thing that happens. My Titan girlfriend understands me more than my human exactly. girlfriend. Exactly. That's what. That's know what where I, you're going with that. No, I, okay. I understand this. That, I that's like what this. I you want. Know, I don't care. If Attack on Titan doesn't give me that, I'm gonna be <laughs> so disappointed in the story. I'm gonna be too. <laughs> you're gonna have to find some type of fanfic. <laughs> it does not go that way. I will write this fanfic. And it will become more popular than the actual show. Okay, how go ahead the, with that. How does the wall religion act in the anime? Because what I get from a slap time is praise the wall. Oh, hail the wall. Slam your head on okay. the wall. <laughs> there, that guy's dead already. <laughs> well, I know that. No, he's not. <laughs> what? There's a high priest. <laughs> oh my goodness. Praise the wall. That, uh, that guy was kind of funny. The, the wall religion's interesting. They're kind of a big part in season <laughs> one and two. Uh, spoiler alert, they kind of all die. Oh, Makes oh. sense. People die in this show? Day. I know, right? Big spoilers. Wow. Anyway, I thought they just pacified the Titans. <laughs> just they get a giant pacifier and just put it yeah. all on all their mouths. That's why they Baby became docile. And everything. There, there's just like this one scene where everyone's like, we've never killed a Titan, but they, the big one like stopped coming and all these other ones stopped like attacking us. What happened to them? And it just like pans over and there's a random field, but all just sitting there like sucking on pacifiers. <laughs> like they're all over there. Oh, right. I all didn't right. notice that. I think we're going to have to end it here now because I don't want to go too far over. So Oh, we need you're a four-hour episode. You're going to have to save the rest of your stuff for next week. Sounds good. I, I don't have that much. Uh, 
it's the information. I, I got to keep milking it for a while. Okay, cool. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of stuff to talk about and be boring again. Yeah, we'll fire you again. Yeah. Wait, that's what happened? What? No, oh, okay. definitely not. I was about to say, I was, I was the, one of the witnesses at his lawyer. I thing. totally did not lace his tea with um, arsenic or anything. Wait, what? Woo! To keep him sick so he stays away. Do, wait, do I have to go to another crime hearing now? Because I was <laughs> no, not. No, it's okay. With... I mix lead with yours. <laughs> but that's only going to slowly kill me. And if it doesn't kill me, just kill off my. There's a lot children. of lead in there. How much lead we talk? That's all that's in there. Is that why I think the flavor is good? Because I kind of like the smell of lead. <laughs> you like the smell of lead? Man, you, you're not going to tell me that you haven't shot like an old bullet. Like, mm. <laughs> or like you get a, like an old 762 by 5 You realize that's gunpowder, right? You're smelling no, gunpowder. I mean like you get those old 762 by 5 4 bullets and you just like smell the tip of it. No, yeah, like I don't it, do this. It 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 You're the only one that does that. <laughs> How? I don't know. Man, Disclaimer: what? Don't eat lead, kids. No, I'm not telling you. Eat or arsenic. Like, don't, don't do either of that. Hold it. And also, cuddle. don't sniff bullets. Why not? Because I don't think that's healthy for you. How's it not healthy? Not healthy for you mentally or physically. I am perfectly incapable of functioning as a normal part of society. Meanwhile, I just choose half not to. your nose is just completely blown off. <laughs> I may have actually hit the. He sniffed a little too hard <laughs> and something went off. <laughs> he just took a hammer. It's like I can get it further up my nose. I took a hammer and a firing pin that was You're broken. Like, wait a second. All right, Is so this a bad idea. I think we're gonna end it here. Not we think I am gonna end it here. Let's so. go. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a somewhat just schlocky, funny episode. Hopefully, you like our new co-host bees. Otherwise, we're gonna have to remove them. <laughs> I I am glad to be here for the first time ever. See, I had the fire weeds. Yeah. You're here, bees. I'm Weezy's If you get fired, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to fire. I'm gonna have to hire Z. <laughs> Z's, yeah. Z's is my son. So hopefully, I'm Weezy's son. There, this is the sequel to Weezy Bees. Hopefully, you become the bees' knees. <laughs> and then, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to hire um, Trees, which is senior to Weezy. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> It just goes down the family line. Then it's like, wait, this is too long, young to have kids. Oh, the grandpa one. We do Make a video podcast. Hey, living me in his seat. It's just a tree. It's just yeah, a tree. <laughs> it's just a potted plant with a mouth. It's not even like a proper tree. It's like literally just like one of those like little uh, sapling trees. Yeah, like a bonsai. Or and what do you them. have to say? Very cool. Oxygen. I produce <laughs> oxygen. All right, nice job, trees. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, you can hit that like button, that subscription button, and you can leave a comment on YouTube. Or you can give us a rating and review on Spotify, Pod, Chaser, and iTunes. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at TalkBaka. You can also give us an email slash comment on through email at askbakatalk at gmail.com. And we'll read it on the podcast. Yes, we will. <laughs> Sorry, my voice just died. <laughs> I was just about to ask you, Weeds, where can they find you? You can find my YouTube channel, KBW. It currently has 199 subscribers because I lost a subscriber. Nice. My channel's died. Am I subscribed to you? I don't know. I got to check that, and if I am, once you get 200, I got to unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, you can check out my. Uh, I'm also on Twitter at KBW Author and on Instagram at the same. If you go to my Twitter, you can find my YouTube channel. Nice. And from there, you can find other things, I'm sure. Cool. Yep. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, Pyrolis. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? Well, you see, when I look at you through the pop filter, you look like a shadow man. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so it's like, it's pretty, pretty epic. Can you just tell the people where to find you? Well, you can find me at my home address of Redacted on Redacted Street in northern Michigan. <laughs> um, other than that, you can find me at Pyrolis2 over on the Twitter. Um, if you want to watch my YouTube for some depraved reason, you can go to Pyrolis Games. 
uh that, that's 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 pretty much it yeah well i do have i do every now and then post <laughs> some book stuff on a web novel or inkstone which you can uh look me up at pyrolis as well nice yeah. nice cool i'm just losing my mind because looking at the pop filter at boom and it kind of makes it look like he has a mustache with his headphones it kind of looks like he has long hair that's to the what i'm side, saying man and it kind of looks like he's balding so he's got <laughs> what do you this mean? all like what do you mean it looks glasses like it? balding whoa, with whoa, like whoa, whoa, long whoa, whoa, hair whoa, whoa. going down on the side <laughs> with like a mustache <laughs> and like like yeah like like the oh my goodness in the glasses he just has that like whole you do not look that bad in person, Boom. Just just through the pop filter. This is oh, my se- goodness. This is the second episode I've had a co-host tell me I'm going bald. <laughs> Did you listen to the one I, where I... I didn't say you were going bald. I said through the pop filter, it looked like your hair was... You were going bald because it looks like you have long hair on the side and just, like, nothing. Weez, were you, did you listen to the episode? I did listen yeah. to that episode. What do you think I listened of that? to all the episodes. Did, 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 am I right or what? Um, I, I don't remember what you were comparing him to. Bill Murray. I don't know what Bill Murray looks oh, like. Okay. I don't remember. He also said I look like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. I forgot. Anyways, uh, it's good to see you Boom is a beautiful all. man. <sighs> it was good uh, having you guys join us for this show. We'll see you all on the I'm next so one. So glad I'm back, Janyao. Pyrolus will be murdered in the next one. <laughs> Janyao, love you all. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Uh, don't get beat. See you all later. <laughs>